Good morning out there, Keto family. My name is Sherry and I'm Keto on a Budget and I am at home. I am enjoying my week off. I decided to take this week off and I'm really enjoying it. I had debated about doing like half a day today and got up and it's rainy and gloomy out this morning. I really don't want to deliver groceries in the rain. So, I've already had my cup of coffee this morning. It is currently 9.44 in the morning and my weight loss is dropping. I am currently at my lowest weight at 211.4. That is my was my lowest weight a couple of weeks ago, and I'm back down to that. And I've been at that two days in a row, so I did not lose any more last night. But I think it's because I had an ice cream, uh, one of those enlightened ice creams. I think that's why um, I stayed the same weight. But I'm enjoying, and I think it's because I'm eating. I'm eating three times a day. I'm eating three meals a day. Before I was eating two meals a day. <coughs> Sorry. But anyway, I've been eating a lot healthier and, and snacking less and having my keto treats with my meal. And I think that is the kicker with me. So this morning, I am enjoying a breakfast. I have a boiled egg. I have a Gouda cheese stick. And I have, well, there's five pieces of salami less. I've already eaten one. So that is going to be my breakfast this morning. And I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. So I will check back with you guys in a little while and I'll show you what I have for lunch. So this is going to be a what I eat in a day. Okay guys, so we're back and it is now 12.02 p.m. and I'm getting ready to go over there and exercise the dog. And I have keto chow. I decided to have that for lunch. So let's just get it out of the refrigerator. I made, him, made three of them last night. So one for today, one for tomorrow, and one for Sunday. Especially if I did go out and do any shops this weekend. And this is lemon meringue. This is their new flavor. So we're going to review that. I'm a huge fan of lemon bars. Now this is just made with butter and water. So I didn't add any almond milk or anything like that. I want to keep the calories, you know, good. Um, I didn't want to add to the calories with the almond, and, and the, with almond milk or cashew milk. I didn't want to add to the calories, the fat, or the, um, I didn't want to up it, okay? <laughs> I'll learn how to talk one of these days. Anyway, let's try this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ordering some more. Oh, my gosh. I ordered one of these just to try it out. because I love lemon bars. I love lemon flavor. I don't care for lemonade. I don't care for sour lemon, but I like a good lemon bar with just that hint of sourness and that sweetness. This is good. I like mine a little bit thinner, but is this is just thick enough. I added 16 ounces of water. Oh yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I put in, this is half a stick of butter and 16 ounces of water and of course the lemon meringue is they only come in sample packets so if you want any you'll need to go order the sample packets um, and it is a limited edition flavor so and they're going to start doing cycling certain flavors are going to come out in the fall and some flavors going to come out in the spring and summer and so this is apparently going to be one of their summer ones so yeah i'm definitely getting some more before they run out Anyway, the other two um, things that I have in the refrigerator are the new uh, root beer float that I ordered that they had 30% off. And yeah, I'm going to go exercise the dog and drink my keto chow. Mm. Yum. Okay, guys, I have moved my computer into the bedroom. My son is going to be sweeping and mopping the living room, dining room, and kitchen in a little bit. And I'm trying to work on the computer and get some computer work done, which I need to open right now. Um, I'm sort of having a second lunch. Um, I don't usually do that and I'm about to go open the door because the dog has just trapped himself in my room. Anyway, I have made, had pre-made up some chicken thighs the other day when I was doing meal prep. And I just pulled them apart. They are, are boneless. They were boneless and skinless. So this is what I made. This is, um, I don't know if you can see it or not. This is my chicken. It's sort of a mid-afternoon snack, more, more than that. Um, but these are chicken thighs. I probably made six of them, so this is probably maybe one and a half pulled apart, or maybe one. 
<clears throat> and I put the Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce on top of that. So I'm going to enjoy that. I've really been looking forward to this, having this all week. And then I made the keto chow. And I really, really, really wanted to try that linen. So this was actually going to be my lunch. Mm. I love the Alterna Sweets sauce. Mm. It is so good. For my fluid intake, I've already had two of the cans of LaCroix um, passion fruit flavor, which I had some stir and I added some water enhancer in there. Can't stand the taste of it without some kind of water enhancer. And right now, this is an orange zip fizz. <clears throat> so, and after this, I'm going to enjoy a serving of the peanut butter keto cookies. So, I've been, this week it's been pretty, pretty much keeping it clean. I've pretty much, except for maybe one day, have not had a keto, uh, a keto, sorry, a Quest Bar or a Quest cookie the entire week and maybe that was what was holding me back it could have been just the quest cookies because and and the can and the quest bars because they are not real clean ingredients whereas the perfect keto bars and the perfect keto cookies are very clean ingredients and so much more keto friendly than the quest quest is great for my husband he can still lose weight and have them i'll get them for him but there are flavors i like that he doesn't and there are flavors he likes that i don't so i will get him the flavors that he likes that i don't and to stay away from the rest of them. I may have one once in a while, but I honestly need to get um, back to, to get cleaner ingredients into my body so that I can lose weight properly. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna get some computer work done and I'll check back with you guys at dinner time. Okay hey guys, I forgot to show you my plate. This was our dinner tonight. This is my Italian casserole, which is basically a cheeseburger casserole, except I used Italian seasonings, some, uh, Peppers, green peppers and onions and mozzarella cheese instead of uh, cheddar cheese. So there you go. That was our dinner tonight. Okay, guys. Um, that was our dinner tonight. I did have an enlightened ice cream bar earlier this afternoon because I got hot and I wanted something nice and ice cold. So I did enjoy that. And that's all I'm going to have for tonight. Uh, I'll take that back. I'm not because I've not been doing the... the uh, overnight fasting. Um, I do stop generally about 8 or 9 o'clock and since I've not been working I'm fasting at least 12 hours before I actually have my first cup of coffee. Um, but lately every night I have been making a small plate with some salami and cheese and a few pork rinds and snacking on that while I watch a movie. And I'm losing so if it continues to work, then I'm going to keep it up. You know, if I stall out, then I'll figure something else out. But for right now, this is working for me. You have to figure out what's working for you in order to to get that the weight off that you need to get off. Um, everybody's different. Everybody has something a different way that it works for them, and you just have to figure out what works for you. And that's by experimenting and you know taking things out and slowly adding things back in and that kind of stuff. I haven't done that yet. I'm not at that point. Um, but I have experienced a lot of frustration in doing, especially I think it was doing a lot of snacking. And now that I have removed those Quest bars and Quest cookies, that seems to be what it was holding me back because I seem to have dropped weight. I did measure this morning. And while I have not lost anything on my hips and stomach, I did lose an inch and a half on my arms and an inch on my thighs so there you go I'm measuring once a month usually the first Monday of the month but I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to measure this week so anyway hopefully next month it will be even better because I do feel like my pants are getting looser on me so but we shall see right now I'm, I'm kind of hot we just ate and I need to turn the fan on and cool off I think I'm gonna go get a nice cold drink I've got some mineral water in the refrigerator. I think I'm going to put some flavor enhancer in that and enjoy and sip on that for a while while I finish watching the next episode of Stranger Things. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you in the next video. Toodles!